cherry red on the bottom, coal black on the top. It didn't take but one time to blister, to find that stove was hot. Where we all, where we all, where we all gathered round, when we come in from the cold. Oh, there's many a big tale been told around that pod belly stone. Yeah. Hello, I'm Bernie Faulkner. There has been many tales been told around that pot belly stove. My grandpa, Ira Duff, he uh, lived in Chavez, Kentucky, about 12 miles from Hazard. Had to creek, cross the creek like 14 times to get to Hazard. And uh, he was a real smart man. He uh, built him a country store right beside the river. And then they built a, a railroad, came through right on the other side of him, and a bridge right across, and a road right at his place. So he had three, he was the main hub of Chavez, Kentucky. And that old country store was unbelievable. The stuff, they had everything for everybody. On the left-hand side, they had all the clothes and the boots and the shoes and all the sizes and stuff. I don't know how Mom Duff did it. She helped him keep it going. It kept him in line, too. But... Uh, there's a big pot belly stove on the other side, and uh, I don't know if you know what that, anybody knows what a pot belly stove is, know what I'm talking about, and uh, we'd get up early in the morning, man, and before the sun come up, and I'd carry out the ash bucket, he'd start putting kindling in there and start that fire going, and I'd go out there and empty the ash bucket and fill it up full of coal, and he'd get that thing blazing pretty good with wood, and he'd start throwing on the coal to it, son. Then it started smoking and a cracking and popping. He'd close that door up. And he, every now and then he'd open it back up, stir it a little bit, and it'd smoke and go on. And then, buddy, that's when you started feeling the heat. The bottom of that thing turned just as red blood as you can imagine. And hot is oh, more of an orange, orange hot. Golly, it was just like, I didn't know why it didn't melt. Well, it's cast iron. That's why it didn't melt. Anyway. Many, many years later, I got thinking about all that stuff, and my dad Duff, he played banjo. They called him Ruck, because he rucked his fingers over the banjo. They get around tell and play play songs and stuff, and it was just special memories to me to hear all those tales. And uh, the tales around the pot belly stove, man, there's a bunch of them that I, I can carry down, you know, that they told me, and then the ones that I've seen happen around. But anyway, I got the idea for that song. And I started to play around with it, you know. And I don't know if you know it or not, but a hit song is never written. It's a rewritten and rewritten and rewritten and rewritten. So here's what I came out with. It was my job when the weather got cold to cut up the kindling and carry in the coal. Grandpa would light up a diamond kitchen match He'd get her smoking, and I'd carry out the ash. Well, when he'd get her going good, he'd pour her on the coal. It'd pop and crack, and the black smoke would roll. He'd open that old ash door and give a careful stir. The far in her belly warms the coal mountain air. Cherry red on the bottom, coal black on the top. Didn't take but one time to blister To find that stove was hot Where we all gathered round When we come in from the cold Oh, there's many a big tale been told Around that pot belly stone Tell us one there, Jake Oh, Jake, I went out and interviewed him He told me a tale about poling up the river on a boat to get the freight up to the places. We have to go to Frankfurt, pull a boat up, and it got real shallow in the places and the shoals. And people lived there, they had mules, and they would charge to hook to your boat, flat bottom boat, and let the mules pull them over the rocks because there wasn't no water there on the shoal. And they had places for you to stay and stuff. And he told me about one of them that was haunted, and that's another story. 
But anyway, the little boys had them a good time. They had a, a moonshine still on their boat <laughs> called Old Black Mott. And uh, I said, what'd you call it, Old Black Mott? He said, well, cause when you built the farm around it, it turned real black and Mott was a ant or something, I don't know. Anyway, them boys had them a time. They worked hard, but they had them a time back in those days. Oh, mercy. Anyway, that's kind of how Pop Belly Stove came about. Um, it's a special song to me because it, it's about where I grew up and, you know, special memories. Until next time. <laughs>